Mika, can you howl? Good girl. Oh, how's it going, guys? It's been a long time. It's been two months since I uploaded my last vlog. It's a good time for a beer and a chat. So two months is far too long and I have a million and one excuses on why I haven't vlogged or uploaded any content and none of them are valid. None of them are good reasons. They're, they're about as useful as this. All those reasons. Hi Charlie. So I'm going to tell you those useless reasons anyways. Basically around that time I started entering a film contest, a documentary film contest on this website called collective.com or collective something. Um, what is it? Let me double check. I have it here. Collective.lacy.com. Anyways, I was entering a short film contest. It was a five minute long documentary uh, focusing on someone who's creative and inspires you. And as soon as I started thinking about this documentary process, my vlog thought and creativity, I guess you could say it just kind of went out the window. It did and it didn't go out the window. Uh, basically, I, I just got this in this documentary mindset. And this is me trying to break out of that mindset and actually doing my vlogs again. And I've got another one coming up, another contest. The last one I didn't win. I love the video, it was about my dad. You should go check it out if you, if you want. It's the last video on my channel. But I've got another one coming up on the same website, another contest, and it's a three minute documentary this time. So I have three minutes to tell an entire story on a person, them overcoming something. It's gonna be quite the process. I've got the filming already done. I'm gonna be starting editing very soon. And so hopefully I can get that out for you guys so you can check it out and you can tell me what you think. But this whole concept of changing my mindset from the documentary perspective into a YouTuber again, a vlogger, whatever you want to say is so hard. I, I filmed so many videos. I filmed so much B-roll. I filmed so much content, but every time I film it, it just doesn't feel right. doesn't feel organic. I don't like it. I second guess it. And I think it's kind of like writer's block almost for me. I've never experienced writer's block. Um, I've got a very, very active imagination and I can just go for, for hours and hours thinking about different things and it connects and it just keeps going and it's like a maze. For me to experience writer's block is like a dead end in the maze where I've never hit a dead end before. And I, I guess what's, what I've been trying to do is, since I'm in this maze with this dead end in front of me, I've been trying to figure out a way to keep going to blow through this dead end, but I can't, it's a dead end. So I think I need to figure out a way to actually turn around and go back to where I was and find a new route through because the way I'm doing it now isn't working. I need to be able to do my documentary stuff because I'm loving doing this, honestly. I need to be able to do the documentary stuff and do the YouTube stuff and the vlogging. I'm especially because in this coming year, I'm really hoping to get into weddings and promotional videos like marketing videos for uh, different companies, music videos. So to be able to actually have that mindset where I can jump back and forth to different projects and well, not necessarily diff even different projects, but the, to jump back and forth to different creative perspectives. I think I need to learn to do that. I think it's going to be very important from here on out for my YouTube and for my career. <laughs> because I would love to take this into my career. Being a videographer professionally it would be absolutely amazing. I, I don't know if I've told you this before, but I hate my job. I hate it so much. Um, I get paid good. I can't complain about that aspect, but yeah. Oh well, it is what it is. There's millions of people out there who hate their job. I, I can't really complain in the least. I'm just gonna try and make the, the jump to being a full-time videographer. I think that's what's gonna be in store for me for 2019, is to be a videographer, cinematographer, wedding, whatever. I can do photography, so I, I can definitely use that to, uh, to my advantage. I've been a professional photographer for seven years. I can use that to uh, help push me into the field of videography, I think. And I've got some big things coming, so it's gonna be amazing. Guys, this has been a ramble. I've hardly drank any beer. Like, look at that, that's, that's still full. Oh, also, I've been really trying to push my Instagram lately. I've been trying to actually uh, get good content for that. And uh, if you want to follow me, go check me out. Here I am right now, Geeknoid TV on Instagram. 
So go follow me on Instagram. I'd like to follow you guys too. So give me a link down below on your Instagram and I'll follow you. I wanna see what you guys are doing creatively. I wanna to talk to you guys. So guys, talk to me. It's been far too long. It's been two months, come on. Help me get back into this groove of things in this amazing YouTube world. Okay, I'm out. I'm gonna go start editing <sighs> because because I want to get this documentary all done up soon. The deadline for it is January 2nd. Oh, that's not that far away, especially around Christmas season. Whew. That gives me that gives me three weeks. Three weeks. Can I get this done? We'll find out. Anyways, guys, I'm out. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see ya. Chiquita chow main.